Maxi was so cute this morning. He prepared already everything because he has people installing his doors and new windows. And so he had to be up at his place really early. But he left everything out. He already like prepared the coffee. So I just had to put the coffee thing in and press the button. Oh, so cute. So I'm having a coffee. It's 7.50. And it's hideously raining, as you could see. My plan today is to go to Chateau de Londigny to see Denise, because we haven't seen her for like ages. And we've been planning to like, yeah, it's really, it's so hard to sometimes like plan where, when you actually see each other. I'll go and have a bit of a like a breakfast and we'll just, <laughs> well also, we also have like multiple ideas that we would like to realize together. Um, so we just want to bounce ideas and kind of like talk through things and yeah, so that's the plan. And then tomorrow we'll be picking up my table. Oh, I can't wait, you guys. I so can't wait. So amazing. So welcome to this vlog. It's a two day vlog. I'm taking you along today and tomorrow. And it's mostly actually about picking up the table, my ideas for the table, how we, what we, what we still need to do with the table, how we need to treat it, all things about this. Maybe we'll also find some chairs. I want to have a look since I have rented a van for tomorrow that we're picking up tomorrow morning from La Rochefoucauld, from Leclerc. And so yeah, so many exciting things. Look at those babies. They're completely wet. And this one, I did so hideous. Trying to hold everything at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go back, just had breakfast, um, get ready and let's go to Londini. <laughs> I somehow felt like I needed to be more representable and I haven't worn this shirt in one million years, that seems. <laughs> it's from another decade. It's really like outfits from the past where I spent most of my days and most of my income on designer clothing and not on building materials. <laughs> this, ladies and gentlemen, is Isimeaki. <laughs> How silly, isn't it? I mean, it is, it is for some people, it's really, I mean, it's nice, it's nice wearing nice clothes, you know? It's really cute, but uh, right now it's just not my priority. And um, nice clothes also, like, why would you ruin your nice clothes with um, renovations, you know? It just doesn't make sense. I think I still have one of those big umbrellas. I think that should be fine. We're ready to go, you guys. So let's hop on in to the car and let's go. And Doctor is staying here. Tu vas rester ici? Ah ouais, je vais rester ici, je t'entends. In France, we don't use it to hold cups. We use it to hold our croissants. <laughs> Okay, you guys, we have just dropped off some coffee at Alexis' place because he was out of coffee. He asked me if I could just drop it off and he seemed really busy, so I just put it on a windowsill and sent him a message. We're off to Londigny. <laughs> Let's see how much uh, I will film. I'm not really sure. Um, because it's also nice to just have some friend time, you know? Alrighties, I will talk to you guys later because with this weather I really need to concentrate. I'm really like, I already saw like a few trees fallen and everything so... And I also tried to call my parents, try to check in on them as well.
just opened the gates and yeah it was a really just like a two hour visit actually because in the end like Denise and me talked a lot about uh, future things that we want to do together and watch out for a yoga retreat it's gonna be amazing I think we have some really really cool ideas to do a retreat together joining her spa elements and my yoga elements so I think it's gonna be really really nice and my meditation elements I know that I don't talk a lot about this on the channel here but I'm a certified yoga teacher I've been teaching quite a fair share of yoga and I'm a certified meditation teacher as well so um, I have been doing a lot of guided meditations and meditating and teaching people how to meditate and doing lectures on meditations and things like this and I've really enjoyed this I really enjoy like the meditating and the yin yoga bit and the slow slower kind of yoga paces I really just like teaching those so um, yeah I think it's gonna be a fun thing to do together we're on our way back home to Designac and it's actually not raining which is amazing you see that that's my neighbor from the front of us basically never there <laughs> but I think I'm gonna move it because it's kind of in the way of the street it's not budging anyway oh well it's fine just arrived home <laughs> but I already realized when I was get going out that it was really like not so practical and I think the storm just made it fall it's really disgusting just to show you how horrible it actually is and it's been like this yesterday the whole day Oh, I think I'm just gonna light a fire soon because it's just like it's not cold but it's wet it's wet it's wet it's wet it's just how the season started just how spring was it was just really really wet and I think we're all really tired of wet weather in Charente because it's really not so typical of rain <laughs> to be that wet and that much rain all the time welcome to my nightmare barn <laughs> so i have this huge pile of like wooden slates that they're really good for making a fire and i really want to burn through them actually because we'll be probably more tomorrow at least removing bits and pieces i just want to move so much more stuff out of here so i can really start doing things in here and really start doing something about the floor that will be the first step but yeah until then, I just want to cut them up with the um, saw that I have in the, my workshop. So we're just going to take a few of those. Tarto also wanted to say hi. <laughs> um, I should really do that and do like a whole station and set it up and just really use up all this wood because it's... Um, just needs to be used up. I'm just having a little cuddle with Toto on the sofa. It's pouring down rain. It's crazy. Meanwhile, we're enjoying a fire. I'm just really, really scared for the house to um, become too damp. That's why I'm really trying to heat. But now I really need to sit down and do some work. Gosh, this rain is biblical it's getting more and more and more and more oh you guys it rained already like all night long it was like this <sighs> super scary so right now that's my working situation Tor has just spent the whole afternoon lying on top of me while I'm trying to type like this. I couldn't even get my phone or anything or the camera to like document it. <laughs> and yeah, preparing the newsletter. If you haven't um, known, I have a newsletter, a Substack newsletter. You'll find the link in the description box down below. Always the newest post is a free post and the older posts then get to be paid posts. If you're interested in that, then sign up for it and always get the latest news from my life here in France. And it always has some 
bit of like wisdom, a bit of information about life in rural France, also some practical bits. I think it has a lot of bits how it is and why I moved to France and how it is to live in France and just embracing also the calm and beauty of your life, I think. I mean, do you remember, for you, the weather was crazy just a few seconds ago. I worked, I think, about two hours now. Have a look outside. It's really windy, but super sunny suddenly. The solar panels are producing so much electricity right now. <laughs> it's just like, it's a crazy day today. But oh, seeing some bits of blue sky, so nice. Good morning. It's the day we're picking up the table and it's gray and gloomy and oh, not really nice outside. Uh, but it's supposed to get a bit better, at least less rainy from nine o'clock on when well, we want to start. It's like seven something now. It's incredibly windy today, but at least the rain stopped. <laughs> I hope it stays that way, because transporting furniture and everything is just going to be a nightmare if it rains. But um, what we also want to do once, since I rented the van, um, and Alex is going to drive it, so I had to register the whole van on him and everything. It was a bit of a workaround, because um, I just, I'm really not used to drive a manual shift and I got really scared so I asked him if he would be um, able to help me out on this one and he said yes and luckily he had time that he could help me so we're doing this together. So we're also doing a dishetry run, we're trying to get all the big pieces out of the barn as much as we can with one go. Fingers crossed that this is going to happen and going to work. Because like this, I can already have a huge push of emptiness <laughs> inside the barn. And then maybe we can try to see already kind of arranging stuff inside the barn. I'm not really sure. I think I really need to make a plan of action. Because by the end of this year, one of my huge to-dos was to empty out this barn. So really need to tackle that. <laughs> it's crazy how just a few days of bad weather can feel like eons. <laughs> Because actually, like, I think the last nice day, like, like last full nice day was Saturday. So, and today is Friday. It's just a week, not even a week. And it feels already like we've had this kind of rainy, disgusting weather for months. <laughs> but I think also it's just been so rainy already in spring. That's why we're all a bit sick and tired of the rain. But on the other hand, I prefer rain to drop. <laughs> because in other places in the world and in France the groundwater levels haven't risen to how they should be and there is still a situation of drought like in the south of France which will at one point become unlivable um, so I think it's better to live in an area like this one here <laughs> Okay, we're still in the garage. Just leaving now. Watching the car drive. And we'll be on our way to La Rochefoucauld, where we will be picking up the car, the van, and then I'll talk to you after. Since we're in France, it only took about 20 minutes and I would presume mm, 50 pages of paper to uh, get a vehicle, but yeah, it's all sorted and we're going up and getting the van. <laughs> it's this one. Woo -woo, we're leaving. <laughs> tried to look for some chairs but um, there's nothing interesting right now but the table's ready to be picked up 
you come to buy a table and just Alexi just bought this hypes court. <laughs> Everything's in the table, the piano or hypes court. <laughs> well, sometimes you go somewhere and it's good to have this kind of vehicle with you, you know? It's just, yeah, perfect. <laughs> We just stopped at Alexi's house and uh, he's gonna get the, the keys of Petra's house because we're going to try to put the harpsichord into Petra's um, barn, which is right next to her house, because they don't have a place to store it and um, I don't really have a place to store it. So uh, Petra, is it? it is. If you're watching Petra, we're going... <laughs> We're going to store the hapsicore in your house. <laughs> the hapsicore is extremely heavy and now we're looking for someone else to help us because it's just like you can't do it in two. There's so many parts that can get broken when we descend it and we don't have a ramp. So, so Alexi is trying to find someone that could help us. It's in! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so I'm just preparing a bit of lunch of just taking all the leftovers from yesterday and cooking them up. And I'm not quite sure how much we're taking to the dish tree because they're so specific about the cleanliness of the car and the van is so clean. So I'm kind of scared to take like two unclean stuff. So we're gonna try and go like a middle way and let's see how much we can bring to the dish tree and how much we can throw away. And then we'll return the van, do our shopping yeah, and then I have to go back to Angoulême probably Monday or Tuesday to bring back the covers that they lent us, uh, luckily, at Le Puce and to also do a bit more like tofu shopping and everything that we can't get in the Le Flat. The pool is going and we're emptying really well. Oh, it's already much less on this side. It wasn't supposed to rain today. That's why we chose this day. And now it's raining even when I'm sitting inside the barn because the doors are completely open. And the dishwasher is out. Just why, why, why? This was the old garage doors. It's already much, much better. Much less things on this side. I know it still looks like it's a lot, but it's a lot. But you can just take it step by step. Up there, I don't know if you can see it, but there's so much shit up there. We also need to take care of that. <laughs> but that will be another day. I always have to take it step by step. At least that's what I'm telling myself, not to go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and off we go to the Deschatrie. It's always such a busy, busy, busy thing here at the Deschatrie. We'll have to bring back the car washed, so that's what we're doing right now. It's just crazy. <laughs> Alexi's finishing off. <laughs> I think this car has never been cleaner. So that went all well. Altogether it was quite like, I think with gas it was around like 80 something euros. Um, not too bad for a day. And we did 104 kilometers. And now we are off to shop a bit still. Shop a bit of groceries for the weekend. And it's getting home. It's been a packed day. <laughs> well, So I just quickly stopped in Brico and I'm gonna take this one for um, furniture, it's Zylo, against all the things that live inside the wood. So we're gonna treat this um, table with it. I think it's gonna be enough. I just want to buy like a huge thing of Zylo. And also somehow my fireplace doesn't clean so well, my fireplace window, so I bought a thing to clean it, especially for fireplaces. I don't know, my last one did clean easily, but this one cleans really, really hard somehow. 
what an absolutely crazy day this was. Ah, oh, so much. Now, we also just went, as you could see, into the Brico because I was also looking for stuff and Alexi still needed stuff while you're there. Might as well just do it. I'm gonna unpack all the groceries that we bought and then probably we're gonna go up to the bar and then let's see how fast I can actually be treating the table and doing things and maybe I'll be able to treat it tomorrow so this way that we can actually maybe assess it on Sunday let's see maybe let's take the week because it has one kind of broken leg so we need to find a way to treat that. I just want to like treat it with the xylo we bought. Also here comes a shout out to the guys from Chateau Bloch who are always trying different variants of Brett's chips or crisps. <laughs> and we found this one lady so, so there's the story behind those. Th those are one. Those are the ones with Sepp. So um, I don't know what they're called in English. Actually, they're Steinpilz in uh, German. So they're really good, really tasty mushrooms. And there was this one lady who asked us, like, oh, to get her the last bit, the last packet that was still up there, because apparently they're very rare. And she loves them. And she's like, she had, I think, 10 packets of these. So today, while we were passing, we were joking about it, and I was like. You know what maybe just let's let's take it let's try them so i'm gonna try it and i'm gonna do a little de degustation now smell like normal chip mm. oh yeah mm -hmm. oh yeah i love these these are really good mm. <laughs> says Elise. <laughs> it's really crazy. It's such a beautiful table. Well, we'll have to like close up a, a few gaps here and there. I'm going to let you cliffhang and you will see the table in the next episode on Friday because I still need to finish a few things. It will take me a few days and I don't want to drag out this episode for very long. Plus I have other things that I want to still film for you guys. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on and I will be leaving to Germany as well. So there will be definitely one or two vlogs from Germany, from rehearsals, from my artistic side. So you'll see a bit more dancing related content as well. But I will also provide you for sure with Chateau content. I mean, I'm so excited to have this table here. It's still the old table here. Um, I asked Jo from the Bocant um, if she'd be able to sell the table for me. And she said probably that would be possible, so I guess you'll also see that coming up in the next episode. Um, I'll try to be selling this table. It is, it is a big, big table and people really liked it. I just find it far too massive for my place. And I don't like tables that are like, you know, it just feels too, 
too strong, too big, too big, too not refined enough. And the other one, as you can see, has is a bit more playful. It's huge. It's humongous. It's much bigger. I mean, it's, if it's a bit, I think it's twenty centimeters shorter than this one when it's uh, full, just on its own. But with the extensions, it is twice the size of this one. <laughs> I mean, it's almost four meters of table, which is gigantic and amazing if we are planning to do like more retreats more things more more things also just uh, during the week and yeah i've got plans <laughs> so yeah thank you so much for following along um all your comments like lately you've been like so engaging i mean you've always been engaging and um, but i really love like to hear about your experiences that you share in the comments and it just feels really lovely and it feels like we're building a very strong community so i'm kind of trying also to look into ways and means how to build even more of a community i have um also finally sat down and I've sorted all my newsletter stuff so you'll be getting newsletters if you're not signed up yet sign up to my Substack newsletter and um, it's linked down below in the description box and bi-monthly there is a newsletter so this means two times a month you'll get a newsletter with all the news and stuff and don't forget about the yoga retreat if you want to come and visit the retreats are the only options to visit the chateau at the moment because I'm not gonna do B&B next year. So if you want to visit the chateau and also have a retreat where you're basically pampered all day. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's lots of thing fun things that we planned for the yoga retreat. So I think it's gonna be a real fun retreat and real nice retreat, very wholesome. It's quite long, it's almost a week. So we get to explore the area a bit, you get to do yoga, you get to do, you get to have really, really nice dinners with all of us here. So yeah, I think it will be really, really cool. All that's left to say now is à bientôt et au revoir. Friday, bisous and bye.